How easy is it to set your lathe tool offsets using the automatic tool probe option? It's pretty easy, so let's check it out. We want to set the offsets for this OD turning tool, this large insert drill, and this ID boring bar. Remember, if we were doing this manually, for tool one, we turn X diameter and measure it with a mic, then face the part and set our Z offset. Next, we touch off the drill on the Z face. Then we'd use the drill to make a hole. We need the hole so we can use the boring bar to cut a bore that we can then measure with an ID mic or bore gauge to set our X offset. Finally, we touch off the boring bar on the Z face. That's a handful of tools, two precision measurements, some opportunity for error, and probably about 10 minutes to complete. Now let's do it with ATP. From the VPS template, we'll start in manual mode. Press F2 to deploy the probe arm, then enter the specifics of the active tool you want to measure. Tool number, offset number, and insert direction. Then we jog the tool up to the probe tip and press cycle start. The probe touches off in both the Z and X direction and the offsets update. We back away to get clearance. Go to MDI to index the turret to our drill. Then back to the VPS template. Jog the drill in just in front of the probe. Again, we enter our tool info in tip direction. Since it's a drill, we'll use number seven for a single Z-axis touch-off. Cycle start again to run automatically in MDI, and our Z offset is updated. Then we go to the offsets page and press F3 to set the X center line position for the drill. On to our final tool. We back up again for clearance, index to tool 11, check that our entries are correct. Now we'll use tip direction two for this boring bar insert. Jog into the probe and press cycle start. There you go. Three tool offsets updated accurately, quickly, and easily. Three tools like this typically takes me about four minutes, so it's comfortably faster than doing it manually. And what if you're setting offsets on a really small tool? On this small ID threading tool, it's nearly impossible with a shim or paper. And with the door closed and spindle turning, it's difficult to see, and there's a good chance I'll break the tool. Here, ATP is indispensable. But that's not all ATP has to offer. Once I've set the offsets for a particular tool, updating those offsets is even easier in automatic mode. Let's say my tool one insert just wore out. I change my insert and then go to automatic mode with tool one active. The control already knows where this tool is. So I simply hit cycle start and the probe arm deploys automatically. The tool moves in and touches off on the probe and the offsets are updated to reflect the new insert position. And I can copy and paste this automatic check into my program so the machine checks this tool and updates the offset automatically before running a particular operation where I'm concerned about insert wear. Now let's take it one step further. If I want automatic offset updates, but I also wanna know when my tool has too much wear, that's break detect mode. Here I can set a limit for tool wear in the wear tolerance field, and the machine will probe and update the offset as before until it reaches this limit. And then it will alarm out, letting me know that this tool is outside its acceptable range. The automatic tool probe option makes setting your tool offsets easier, faster, and more accurate. And it gives you peace of mind when you're running parts, but not standing in front of your machine. Visit HaasCNC.com where the ATP option is just a click away on the build and price page. And thanks for watching.